all right it's me again agbaji onome on nebo tv welcome to another show today we are starting off with a sad note the death of the famous nigerian pastor tb joshua pastor temitokpe balogun joshua an influential nigerian preacher popularly known as tb joshua who claimed prayer could cure aids and homosexuality has died at the age of 57 just one week to his 58th year birthday he was always in the news for all the wrong and right reasons most recently he was the talk of the town when his page was taken off YouTube after a sermon on curing homosexuality. Prophet T.B. Joshua was one of the most controversial televangelists in Africa and his death has sent shock waves through the Christian community. He was a crowd puller to his Nigerian church, Synagogue Church of All Nations. His church attracted 6 out of 10 travelers into Nigeria and 2 million tourists annually. Some South Africans first learned of the prophet when the guest house on the church premises collapsed in September 2014. There were more than a hundred fatalities and 84 of them were South Africans. It took more than two months for the bodies to be released by Nigerian authorities and repatriated to South Africa. T.B. Joshua, known as the prophet to his followers, his death was announced on his Facebook page on 6th of June 2021 with a message that reads, God has taken his servant. Surely the Sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing his plan to his servants, the prophet. This was taken from the Holy Book of the Bible in Amos 3 verse 7. On Saturday, 5th June 2021, Prophet T.B. Joshua spoke during the Emmanuel TV Partners Meeting. He said some key words like, Time for everything. Time to come here for prayers and time to return home after the service. T.B. Joshua rose to prominence in Africa in the 1990s, but worshippers would flock to his service in Lagos, Nigeria, from all over the world. Joshua claimed to have had heavenly visions of God, prompting him to form his own organization, the Synagogue Church of All Nations, in 19. 87. He ran the Christian television station Emmanuel TV and regularly traveled across Africa, the US, the UK, and South America for speaking tours. Nigerian commentators lamented his passing, citing the humanitarian and charity work that his ministry did across Africa. But Joshua's teachings also came in for criticism, with Forbes magazine once dubbing him Nigerian's most controversial clergyman. YouTube suspended his account in April after a right group made allegations of hate speech. UK-based Open Democracy complained to the Google-owned video streaming site over seven uploads that showed the preacher claiming to cure gay people. In one, the pastor was seen slapping a woman whom he says has been possessed by spirits. TB Joshua's channel had as many as 1.8 million subscribers before its closure two months ago. The late pastor also reportedly made unverified claims to have healed all manner of illness, including HIV AIDS. T.B. Joshua also said he had predicted the 2014 Malaysia Airlines disappearance in a sermon a year earlier. A coroner in Lagos Cat said at the time that the church was culpable because of criminal negligence, but Joshua never faced any charges. T.B. Joshua is however survived by his wife, Evelyn, and three children. Some of his believers claim the preacher already knew that he was going to die soon. 
the ruler of his hometown, Obayisa Olanipekun, told reporters that the preacher had prophesied his departure in his last sermon, looking at his past preachings two days before he died. The preacher died 2 a.m. on Sunday, June 6, 2021, although the cause of his death is unknown. It is reported that he walked out of a Saturday night sermon, 5th of June, to take a little break, but did not return to continue the Mass. Those in attendance only became aware of the situation when it took long without seeing the preacher return. Upon a search at his apartment, he was found dead at 2 a.m., 6th of June, 2021. According to the Kenyans' Daily Nation, Lagos Police Commissioner Hakim Odumosu said on Sunday that he received a report at 2 a.m. that the preacher was dead. The Daily Nation further revealed that the pastor was officially pronounced dead by a hospital around 3 a.m., according to Mr. Odumosu. Mr. Odumosu said his people thought he probably wanted to rest or refresh, but when they didn't see him after a long while, they went in search of him and found him in an unusual position. The church said T.B. Joshua's last words to his members were, Watch and pray. Hundreds of his followers and church members flogged the center on Sunday morning, 6th of June 2021. Local reports in Nigeria indicate that flags adorning the Synagogue Church of All Nations in Lagos were at half-mast as dozens of mourners thronged the church compound upon learning the death of T.B. Joshua. There was, however, no service that Sunday morning, as it has been routine as church security blocked the mourners from accessing the center. T.B. Joshua was popular in many African countries and in South America, where he had held many religious crusades. Tributes have been pouring in since the news broke, with celebrities and political parties such as EFF, sending their condolences. Millions across the world and in Nigeria particularly will always remember him for the spiritual and pastoral care he ministered to the nation and the world with vigor and selflessness committed to the word of God. The wife of the famous Nigerian preacher T.B. Joshua, Evelyn Joshua, spoke for the first time on 8th June 2021 since her husband's death. Mrs. Joshua, on her Twitter account, expressed her deep sorrow following the death of her husband, the founder of the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Losing a loved one is never easy, whether sudden or foreseen, it's always heartbreaking, she wrote on her Twitter page. She added, grief can wreak havoc on our overall well-being. That's why it is important to stay rooted in the Almighty. Only He can lessen our heartache and comfort us in these times. Seek refuge in Him. That means seek refuge in the Lord. The cause of the death of Tibi Joshua is still unknown, but according to his wife, Tibi Joshua died while doing the work of the Lord. However, President Muhammad Buhari has mourned the founder of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Pastor Timitokwe Balogun Joshua, saying he will be missed by his global followers. The president, in a release commiserated with the family and members of the Synagogue Church of All Nations on the person of their father and founder, Pastor T.B. Joshua. The president noted that the renowned televangelist will be missed by his followers all over the world, not only for his spiritual contributions, but for touching many lives through philanthropic gestures. President Buhari urged Pastor Joshua's followers to follow solace in the knowledge that life is not measured and defined by chronological longevity, but by enduring legacies and lives touched positively.
Also, a first-class traditional ruler in Ondo State, the Olukare of Ikare, Oba Akaduri Saliu Momo, has described the deceased televangelist Pastor T.B. Joshua as an unwavering community leader and rare philanthropist. Oba Momo, in a statement personally signed by him and made available to newsmen in Akure, said he still could not grapple with the reality that T.P. Joshua's truly departed this world. According to the Oba, with his brief stint on earth but impactful life, T.P. Joshua has left a huge vacuum following his unparalleled philanthropic gestures, not only in Akoko land but across the world. He added that with the man of God imprinting in his caring heart in the lives of many, the people of Ikare Akoko are comforted with the fact that he is already with the saints. Oba Momo prayed that God will let his perpetual light shine upon the soul of the departed and may his beautiful soul rest in peace. It is very sad to know that Nigeria and the world at large have lost a very strong man of God and a philanthropist. Nebo TV wish to console with the family of the disease and pray that God strengthen them mightily in Jesus' name. All right, thanks for tuning in today on today's show. It's been a wonderful time. It's really been a wonderful time with you all. Please, if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, click the subscription button below and the notification bell to always get updates from Nebu TV. Please follow us on our various social media handles, our Instagram and Facebook page at Nebu TV. I'm definitely going to see you next time. My name remains Agbaje Onome, so stay safe. God bless you and God bless Nigeria.